In this video, I'm going to tell you about a problem I just had with my vehicle, so if you encounter the same problem with your vehicle, you'll know exactly what to look for. The tips I'm about to show you can save you a lot of time and money trying to figure out the problem with your engine. The engine in this vehicle is a G6BA V6 2.7 liter Delta made by Hyundai. It's an aluminum block engine with 134,000 miles. And right here is a better look at this reliable engine without everything covering it up. What I'm about to discuss applies to many different makes and models of engines, not just the Hyundai V6 2.7 liter engine. As you can see, this 2003 Sonata has been very well cared for over the years. All fluids have been changed on a regular basis using the best quality fluids and I never allowed the engine to run low on oil. If a person has allowed their vehicle to become very low on oil for a prolonged period of time then more than likely that engine is going to have severe damage from the lack of oil. And what I'm about to tell you right now will not apply. Okay so about two weeks ago I was driving my vehicle and I started to hear a very light knocking or ticking sound and it was coming from the passenger's front wheel well on the right side of the engine. When I was idling, I would hear a tapping or knocking sound. And if I gave the engine just a little bit of gas from idle, the sound would disappear. And if I gave it a little bit more gas, up to around 1,200 RPM, the sound would come back. And then even more gas, 2,000 RPM or higher, the ticking or knocking was completely gone. I could not figure out what the knocking was from. Of course, I was thinking the worst, that the bottom of my engine had a problem with the rods or the crankshaft. So what I ended up doing is taking a long rod, like you see right here, a 3 8 inch extension bar, and I placed it on different areas of the engine, on the head, by the valve cover, down low on the block, all the way around, and took this and placed it very tightly against my ear, and I listened for where the tapping was the loudest. Now, in my case, the tapping was very loud, straight down by the crankshaft pulley, just to the left of it, and down towards the oil pan. If you're hearing tapping on that side of the engine, where there are no belts or no accessories, such as your AC compressor or alternator, then more than likely, it's not going to be a good thing. It's going to be a problem with the bottom of the engine, or it could be a problem with your valves, or even how the engine connects to the transmission. Maybe the bolts on the flex plate that connect the engine to transmission, one got loose and it's maybe touching as the engine rotates. But in my case, all the tapping was straight down by that crankshaft pulley. Certain days that tapping sound or knocking sound was fairly audible and other days it was very, very loud, just like somebody taking a piece of metal and just banging it against the engine. Approximately a year ago I changed out the timing belt on this engine. Everything had to be taken apart on this side of the engine. Motor mount off, the front wheel off, a lot of stuff. Changed out the water pump as well along with the idler pulleys and those were imported from South Korea. They were quality parts. The only part I didn't have was a hydraulic tensioner which I bought locally. Knowing that all that work was done only a year ago decided to do was take a look at the oil pump next and in order to remove the oil pump the timing belt has to come off as you can see in the image over here the sprocket at the bottom that's where the crankshaft pulley would be tension would have to be removed from that timing belt in order to take a look at the oil pump so once I took off the covers at the very bottom I noticed that there was a whole bunch of slack on my timing belt on the left side of the engine and what was happening, the hydraulic tensioner, the pin, right where the pin sticks out to push on the other pulley to tighten up the belt on the left side of the engine, there was a whole bunch of play and you could move the pulley and it was tapping or hammering right on the pin of the hydraulic tensioner because all the fluid leaked out on that tensioner. If you ever experience similar symptoms, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your engine has a hydraulic tensioner and it's coming from this side of the engine where the timing belt would be along with the accessory belt then you want to inspect that tensioner to make sure it's okay 
If it's okay, you can rule that out as being one of the problems. So now you know if you have an engine that's well cared for and you have tapping that suddenly develops, gets louder and louder and changes with RPM, you're going to want to inspect your hydraulic tensioner.